So today is a really fun, exciting video for me. And that is because we are going to be going through all of these. Now you can't see this very well, but in a minute you're gonna see that that desk is loaded with palettes. I've gotten all of my palettes out except for the ones that are in these trays right here. We are going to be going through my whole entire palette collection and I'm going to be doing a declutter. Now, I know that a lot of people ask me, what do you do with your makeup when you declutter? I do a couple of things. The first thing that I do is I let my friends and family go through. And just so you guys know, my daughter is a, as big of a makeup lover as I am. So she gets first pick through all of this. But then I have two sisters and I have a mom and then I have a bunch of aunts and a bunch of cousins that all come over and they just get to go through my makeup and they love doing that. So I, that's the first thing I do. Also recently I got the idea that I would sanitize whatever was left over and I would give those to the high school drama department. And they appreciate that so much because you know they go through makeup a lot and they like having different things and of course Course, you know teenage girls they like going through all that stuff so I'm going to be doing that with anything that's left over I don't have a women's shelter that's close to me just so everybody knows you're gonna get really zoomed in here to be able to see my collection and we're gonna get into decluttering my whole entire eyeshadow palette collection and just so you can see what is there as well I hope you enjoy it all right everyone so this is the eyeshadow palette collection and my goodness, there is way too many. Um, I just am going to very quickly go through this because I don't want it to be a really super long video. I know it's gonna be longer than my normal videos. This is from Profusion, it's the Sunkiss palette. Love the Profusion palettes and I have the Festival one and somewhere in here I think I have the metallic one too and I'm going to be keeping those. So we're gonna put those to the side. Now these are my Morphe palettes. I do love these Morphe palettes. I'm gonna lose so many of those little plastic thingies. Okay, this one is the Morphe, I think this is the one hot spot that I put in one, my favorite ranking videos. This one, I love this with the blues and then also the pinks in there. Love that palette, gonna be keeping that one. I'm gonna be keeping this one as well. This one is the Stunning Vibes. This, this one has some more gorgeous blues in there and some more of the pinks. But these metallics over here, they are absolutely outstanding. They are so pigmented and so pretty. And I absolutely love those palettes. I don't know what Morphe did this year, but it seems like they really stepped up what they were doing and it really turned out well for them as far as, this one is the boss mood, by the way. And there goes another plastic thing. I, how many of those do you think I'm gonna lose during this video? Okay, this one is so pretty because it has the purples in here, has these greens in here. These are like warm greens. And then over here, it has some berries, berry colors in it. These are all so pretty and they're all just so unique. I just really love them. So definitely going to be keeping that one. I'm keeping my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill one. It is one that I keep because I know that most people have gotten it and I like to do tutorials for you guys out of it. It's not, you know, my favorite Morphe palette, but at the same time, it's not the worst one. And I then this one is the LA Girl palette. I just recently got this one. I will be keeping this one. I need to dive into this more, but oh, Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this palette. Every color in here to me has been just so gorgeous and so pretty. And I just think that this is one of the best palettes that I have seen in a long time as far as big palettes goes. And then this one right here is a Makeup Forever tin that I got from Sephora. And I just put a bunch of my singles in here. These are my Viseart little palettes that I would just was just never reaching for. And so I thought, well, I'm going to put them in there and try and see if I can get more use out of them. And then over here, these are Buxom uh, singles right here. Then the rest of these are ColourPop and Makeup Geek. And just absolutely love the formula on there. One of the ones that I'm going to declutter, and I know this after using it twice, is the Aurora palette. This is absolutely fantastic, out of this world quality palette. So if you love warm shades and you love oranges and reds and yellows, you're going to absolutely love this palette, but I can't get a look where I don't feel like my eyes look like I'm bloodshot and really red, you know, just like I've been crying or something. 
and it's because my coloring is so neutral uh, and leans towards cool. So I am going to declutter that one. I just got the new one, which is the mint to be one from um, ColourPop. So I have all of these and I'm gonna be keeping every one of them. I love these little nine pan palettes that are their monochromatic ones. That's the mint to be if you haven't had a chance to see it. So pretty. This one is the Going Coconuts. Love the neutral tones in there. The Blue Moon palette is one of my favorites for wearing blues. I have used every single color in there on my lid and love it. Just My Luck is probably my least favorite of all of them. I don't know why. It's got gorgeous colors in there, but I'm not getting rid of it because I occasionally want to reach for those greens. And then the Ooh La La palette is pinks, which I love. And then th this one is the Lilac You A Lilac You A Lot. And I love that one as well. I haven't gotten to work with that one as much as I want. And then the It's My Pleasure palette is my favorite purple palette I have ever gotten and ever seen. Even though there's a lot of pinks in here, some of these colors are just different than any colors I've seen in a long time. So I'm keeping all of those. I am decluttering every single palette that I got from Copycat Beauty because the quality is just not there, you guys. I don't think they're that great. I have used them and could not build up what I wanted to and make them work for me. And then this, this one is their blush palette. I'm getting rid of that one. So I got two palettes from Focalore and even though I did like them, this palette right here has so much sparkle in it that I just really wasn't making looks that I was really happy with. So I'm gonna get rid of the Perth palette. I'm also going to be getting rid of this Beauty Creation Seduce Me palette. I really thought that I was going to be in love with this palette because of the purples in here. But these shadows fell so short of being able to build up. And I was so disappointed in how they just, they wore away so quickly on my eyes. So that one is going as well. This one is the Pixie by Petra and I haven't even opened this yet. I just got this not very long ago and I'm so grateful to Pixie that they sent me this. But I really wanna pass this along to someone that I know can get some use out of it. I probably will end up putting this one in a giveaway. This one I just got Ace Beauty from BoxyCharm and I haven't even swatched that or anything yet. And again, these are not colors that I would use. So except I'm going to be putting that one in a giveaway as well. I was really excited again about all of the cool tones in here that were, you know, the shimmery colors because you usually get a lot of colors that are actually more along the lines of warm. This one is the Makeup Revolution Precious Stone Diamond Palette. That one is going as well. So is this one, which I've shown in a video before. This is their Chilled with Cannabis Oil Palette. You can't build these up. I am really disappointed in Makeup Revolution just recently. This is the Turkey Palette from Folklore. Again, this is solid glitter right here. And most of these have big chunky glitters in them. And that one is going as well. Glitter is just not something I can use. This is the Revolution Pro. This is the uh, their dupe for the new nudes from Huda Beauty. And this one fell very short. This is an extremely... Um, powdery chalky formula and even the metallics would not build up so that one is going as well highly disappointed in that from dominique cosmetics i have um, a lot of their palettes so this one is the berries and cream and this one i love i love 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 the berries and cream one and i'm not going to be getting rid of that one i can only think of one that i may be getting rid of of the dominique cosmetics so i'm keeping that one this one is the one that i might be getting rid of and that is the celestial storm and it's because the color story is really really too deep and dark for me and i can't get a full look just out of this palette from morphe this is there let me look this is such a gem palette and this is the one that is the all purples and pinks. Okay, so pretty you guys, it really truly is. But here's what disappointed me about this palette. Okay, I, there is hardly any pigment there. These right here, they're all toppers. They're like they are see-through. So they give you the sparkle and the glass or the, you know, the glitter on the top, but they don't give you the actual pigment that's in the pan which is really disappointing to me. But I'm gonna give this a little bit more time because I feel like I didn't give this over here enough love and I really didn't give these purples down here enough of a chance. I just got really discouraged when I saw that all those middle colors were just toppers. So I'm gonna try that for a little while longer. And then this is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. Love this one, just love it, love it. There's a couple colors in here I can't wear, but for the most part, they are beautiful colors for summertime and I'm going to keep that one 
There is also the latte palette. So this one I love as well. Oh my gosh, these colors right here. Look at, oh my gosh, they're so pigmented. They're so pretty. pretty. And then this one is the Rustic Glam from them. And I love this one too because I love my blues. And that's what this has in, a few, in it, quite a few blues. But it has those gorgeous other just easy colors to wear. So, and I like that it threw, they threw in a little bit of a plummy purple and the pink in there. Just really makes you very creative when you open up something like that. And I really love their formula. Okay, the Sahara palette from Alter Ego, I am going to go ahead and keep. This one, as you can see, I've <laughs> been loving quite a bit. I love that they included the cool tones in here so I can mix these to make a gorgeous eye look. And I've done that quite a bit. Their Temptress palette, which is a dupe for the Sultry palette from ABH. They, they have the best dupe I've found as far as any um, ABH palettes, they had the best dupe. And this is absolutely a must if you wanted that ABH palette, but you couldn't get your hands on it. That silver right there, I think you might be able to get me to keep a palette for that color right there because on the lid, that color is stunning, stunning. And it, they are such fantastic dupes. On to the BH Cosmetics. I did put this into my one of my favorites as far as the year goes. This is the Fairy Lights palette from them, I believe. Yes, Fairy Lights. And I love this palette, you guys. I love the color story about it. I love the packaging about it. And I don't work with this as much as I wish I should, wish, wish I could, but I am doing a rotation through all of my palettes and I do one palette a day and then I continue to ro rotate. So that's actually helping me. These are the LA Girl, the Hot Heat palettes, the Fierce and Wild palettes. And I think these palettes are next level, fantastic, gorgeous palettes. So here is a Fierce and Wild one right there. Such pretty neutrals, gorgeous warms and blues. This one is the one I believe, this is the Hot Heat one, I think that is the one, I can't remember which one I put into my favorites for the year. But anyway, this color right here, oh, again, whoa, you guys, so pretty. And then this one is, I believe, this one is Vacay Every Day. And this one, if you wanted a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nudes, this is really close to a lot of the things she has in there and so pretty. And then this one right here is the Untamed. But all four of these, if there's one in here that you look at and you go, oh, I like that color scheme. I think those are colors I'd like. Then definitely, you know, pick it up because I think the formula in this is probably the best formula that I saw come out last year. Love this formula. This one is the metal one that I told you that I'm going to be keeping of Profusion. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Not getting rid of my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love this palette. And I think it's one of those ones that just all around, you know, being able to make tons of looks and it being so good. Okay, this is from Colored Rain. This is my Queen of Hearts palette. I wanted this so badly. And this was a couple of years ago. And I am, I have never been disappointed in this. I'm going to use this palette tomorrow because this is one of the most gorgeous palettes that I own and oh my gosh. The formula of this is so good. Colored Rain did a knockout job with that. Now this one over here is also from Colored Rain and I can't decide whether I'm gonna keep this one or not. This is their Vivid Pigments and I got this before they actually made this into an actual palette. So it was a Z palette with the pots in here, just the eyeshadow singles in here. I don't know whether I'm gonna keep this or not because you guys look at it, I hardly have touched these. So this one is in a maybe. So I'm gonna put it in the declutter pile, but it's a maybe. This one is the Lancome that came in their big set. And again, I didn't even try this one. So this one may be going into a giveaway as well. So that one's going. This is um, from ColourPop. This is the Gimme More palette. It says, I like your face on the front, but this was their, um, highlighters and I love these. I absolutely love these, but I'll tell you what I don't like about them is that these over, I, I think I've had this palette for maybe two years. These are getting stiff on me and it's like they're getting a film over the top that I can't really get through to use. And so I'm a little bit discouraged by that and I'm a little bit worried about it. So I think I'm going to be decluttering that one. And then the Norvina palette, this was the first one from the Norvina collection and it was the purple one. And I showed you guys this one in palettes that I really regret buying. Um, and the reason is, is because I don't reach for this. I have literally reached for this one time, felt like I could not get the look I wanted and put it away. From BH and Cosmetics is the Gal Galaxy Chic. I love the colors in here. I think they're so pretty and all of them are metallic, like that Profusion one. They're so pretty, but 
I don't reach for this. I never ever reach for this. I mean, I've had this for quite some time and I just have not been, you know, where I just felt like I wanted to reach for this. So I'm going to declutter that one. From Wet n Wild, this went into my favorite palettes of the year as well, that I'm not getting rid of this one. This is, I believe they're 32 pan. Yes, 32 pan. This has tons of colors from their um, color icon line. And I just, I love them. And I've been working with this one like crazy, especially when I first got it. And then speaking of Wet n Wild, I'll just pull all these out. I'm not getting rid of any of these that are their 10 pan palettes. I believe and that some of these came right around the time of Halloween, I think. So this one is In the Smoke, and then this one is Wizards in Training. It's got pretty purples in there. This one is the Boo Crew, and it's got blues and greens in there, love that. And then this one is the Cosmic Collection. So I'm not getting rid of any of those. And then this one is my Magic Palette from Juvia's Place. I love this, never getting rid. I won't be getting rid of any Juvia's Place, you guys, just so you know, in this whole thing. Okay. You guys saw me in the beginning of the video. This is what I had on. I love this palette from This Elf. is the Earth and Ocean and oh wow. The only one in here that I was a little bit discouraged by is this silver one right here because it's kind of chunky and I'm not, you know, I'm not somebody that wears that chunky glitter stuff. It's okay, but it's just not the greatest, but everything else in here, especially the mattes are just fantastic. If you guys have been thinking about these palettes, I can wholeheartedly say that these are so good. And then I have two of my hourglass palettes. The one thing I will say about these hourglass palettes, they get so dirty so fast and you, it shows every single fingerprint. If I could change anything, it would probably be that. Although the packaging feels luxe and I love it. So this is their one from last year. This is the ambient lighting. Wait a minute. This is the ambient lighting edit volume four. And I really like the, the powders in there. They did duplicate two powders, which are right there from last year in this one, which is their ambient lighting edit ghost palette and I picked up both of those and I use them like crazy and love them so I'm not getting rid of those and then this one right here I was actually thinking about getting rid of this one came a little bit broke to me this is from Rach Loves and Pixie Beauty and at first I was like I don't know if I'm going to keep it not because it was broken just because I have so many see right there how broken that was I have so many of these, but then I saw Taylor Wynn doing a video on this and she says these are the best ones she'd buy them single. So I'm going to have to give this an extra little try. And so the packaging's going away on that one and I'm keeping that. I am not getting rid of very much, am I? Okay, from Becca and Chrissy Teigen, this was their collection that they did. I'm probably not going to get rid of this one because this one is kind of, for me, a collector's item. Same thing with the Jaclyn Hill one, Becca and Jaclyn Hill. Let's go on to some stuff I am getting rid of. More Makeup Revolution. These are the Roxy palettes. Rock Roxaris. And I don't watch this person, but I was really excited to see these two palettes. But again, this formula, you guys just really let me down this year. I just am, I don't know why they don't go back to the formula that they had before, but these are going to be decluttered. And yeah, I'm a little bit sad about that. This is the blush palette. It's very used and very loved from Juvia's Place. Keeping that, like I said, I'm not getting rid of any of my Juvia's Place. This one is one of the Dose of Colors, uh, Desi and Katie Friendication palette. Love this palette, love the formula. Love everything about it, not getting rid of that. The Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palettes, these are the little ones. These are from the vault. I have Bling Boss and Dark Magic on these. So I'm probably not getting rid of these either because I do reach for them quite a lot and use them quite a lot. And then I'm gonna save those for in a second. This Zoeva palette. I was a little bit disappointed in my Zoeva palette. I hadn't really tried any before. I got their brushes. I like their brushes, but this palette didn't have um, quite as much pigment as I'm used to. That one's going to get decluttered. This one from Lottie London is a really cheap and expensive palette, but I freaking love this palette. I think it's one of the best palettes I've gotten all year and it's so cheap, but those colors are so pretty and I, I really like them. So these right here are all three of these are from Beauty Creations. This was their Floral Bloom collection, I think, and I'm getting rid of every one of these. That is the highlighter and contour. That is the blush one. And then this one is the the actual eyeshadow and I do not like this formula the formula on the face products are way worse than the eyeshadow products and the eyeshadow products are bad enough so I'm going to be getting rid of that I put these Huda Beauty little gem palettes in the worst palettes that I've had for the year and yeah they're not ones that I like very much I 
have not found that I liked the formula in here very much. I'm going to keep the purple one because I'm a purple person. And I think I'm going to keep the green one because you can do an all-inclusive look. But I'm going to get rid of these two, the ruby and the sapphire. Because they just, they weren't ones that I really loved a ton. Okay, this one is the C Color Cosmetics Savannah Palette. I put this in my loves for the year. And I am not getting rid of that. If you like all matte, if you like mattes, you guys, these are fantastic outstanding mats actually and for the money i think this is eight dollars on their website for the money that cannot be beat for blendability pigment staying power all of the good feels that one is so good so definitely pick that up these are my milani pure passion ones and i don't know where my sultry one is i have a sultry one Oh, and I have their Most Love mats too. So I don't know where those are at. Pure Passion was one of my favorites in 2018. Um, Bold Obsessions, love it. These are such good palettes. My other two must be maybe in a purse or a car or something. I'm not sure about that. Um, from Smashbox, I'm not getting rid of this one. This is the Cali Contour. This is a fantastic contour palette. And then I also got from Too Faced the Natural Face. I'm keeping this as well. I adore these two colors up here that are the highlighters. I love the mirror in this. I just think it's a great face palette. I'm going to start pushing some of these over here so that we can count what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of. These are all my Anastasia palettes. So Modern and Renaissance, we all know about that. That is the most loved palette I think I've ever had. I use that thing like crazy, the Alyssa Edwards. This one I haven't used like crazy. I actually have neglected it. So it is going into the rotation and I'm going to give it a try. The Sultry palette is my love. I don't know if I will ever get rid of this. I may even buy a backup. Carly Bible is my least favorite of any of these. And then I got so much backfire from, oh, you didn't like it. We loved it, blah, blah, blah. And it's a nice palette, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I think I might be, I think I might be decluttering that one. I, uh, that's kind of the, you know, the jury's out. Riviera palette from them. Not enough love. Again, I haven't loved this enough. I need to keep working with it. Love the colors. Just haven't worked with it enough. The Jackie Ina palette went into my loves for the year. And I do love this palette. I think it's fantastic. Fantastic. This one is the Norvina. Love it too. And have used it to death and not getting rid of that one. Okay. So I did buy the gingerbread spice and the extra spicy palettes. And I do like them. Then the whole debacle came out with Too Faced and I was so disappointed. So I'm going to keep them for duping purposes, but I probably will not be buying anything from Too Faced anymore just because I'm a little bit disappointed. So the gingerbread spice um, is probably, if you're going to buy one, I say buy that one. I like it better, but that's just because I like that the colors in there a little bit better. Now, um, Sabrina did a dupes video on the C Color Fairy Tale 2, which is a dupe for this spice one. So now, don't be fooled. They are really good quality in this palette as much as the Too Faced, and you can get them for a fraction of the cost. So all of these are staying with me as well. Then I have my e.l.f. palettes. These are all face palettes, and I just keep these because I love e.l.f.'s quality on everything. This is their contour palette and then I have their blush palette and then I have their, this one is the lighting palette or something like that. Total face palette. If you're looking for a good face palette, those are all excellent. And then, oh, there's the soft and sultry. I know it's somewhere. So there is the soft and sultry. And actually this is a new one because my last one got broke and I just barely got this from Amazon very recently. Those are going out of stock. So if you want them, you might want to jump on them. And then from Persona, this is the Identity 2 palette. I, again, have not given this palette enough love. So it's going to be sticking around with me for a little while. Okay, you guys just recently saw me do a video on these little mini palettes from Dubious Place. If you didn't get a chance to, I will link it below. There's the berries. There's the violets. I'm gonna lose every single one of those little plastic things. There's the chocolates. And then there is the nudes. The nudes is my least favorite out of all of them. Those looks turned out really good, I think. And I really have enjoyed having them so far. And then these all right here are my ColourPop palettes right here. And um, this is the Kathleen Light So Jaded palette. And I definitely think it is 
great quality and I love what Kathleen did here in choosing her colors but they could have done without the glitter I get it I understand you guys so those are just kind of sitting there the glitters are but I've I love that palette then this one is a rendezvous palette I don't think you can get this one anymore but I'm not getting rid of it because I love it and I love all those cool or those really neat metallic colors in there love it this one you can still get this is the dream street palette and Kathleen Lights. This color right here, one of the most interesting, beautiful colors that they have ever come out with. Just, I don't know even what to call it. It's just an absolutely gorgeous duochrome color. And then this is the Butter Me Up palette. This came out the end of the year. Again, not crazy about that chunky glitter, but everything else loved in there. This is X's and O's. Love this one as well. I need to do a bunch of tutorials for you guys, obviously. This is the Give It To Me Straight palette. No glitter in there. Love this one. More on the warm tone side. Bye Bye Birdie. Love this one. Again, they could have done without that, but they did put their Super Shock formulas in here, and I am such a fan of those, and I love that. This one was put into my favorites of the year. This is the Flutter By palette, and oh my gosh, I love this, you guys. That's the only one that I'm not crazy about in there. And then this is the Give Me Butterflies, which I love, and again, we're into the chunky, chunky glitter. Why, why, why? I don't know. You know, I was thinking about chunky glitters the other day and thinking, why couldn't you put those on your like put a, a coat like see today i have glitter on my fingernails why couldn't you put a coat of base on there then put your chunky glitter over it and then put a coat of top coat on there i might try doing that just to use up some chunky glitters because some of these are pretty colors, but I don't want to use them anywhere near my eyes. So those are all staying so pretty. This one I have a whole tutorial on. I think this is one of the prettiest palettes they have. Love the Nomad palette. This one is the Queen palette, Fumi and Juvia's Place. Love this one. That purple is fantastic. And this one for an icy champagne corner color. Woo, so pretty. This one is the Warrior 2, wait, Warrior 3 palette. So pretty again, you guys. Now this one, I do have to reach for another palette to get a complete look out of it, but all of those colors in there. The only color in here that I don't, haven't used is that yellow right there, but I love this palette, even though it's really outlandish and really bright. I think it's one of their prettier ones. The Deuce palette is probably one that is their nine pans that I think is the best that they've ever done. If you're going to look into getting something from Juvia's Place, you've got still your neutral colors in here, but you have that pop, these pop of colors here. You, the pink is still considered a neutral. This color right here is so beautiful on the lid. It's like that one I said from the Sultry palette from ABH just gorgeous on the lid. Deuce palette in my book is aces. Ha ha ha. Anyway, sorry, that was really corny. Okay, the tribe palette, this is one that I said that I just don't use that much, and it's true. I don't use it that much, but I'm gonna keep it because I do like a couple of colors in here, and I like Juvia's Place. I like them a lot, and I'm gonna keep that one. I, I know, I'm being weird. But um, yeah, I'm gonna keep my Juvia's Place for now. The Festival palette, I thought they did a great job on this one. This one, I love this peach color in here. Love the icy, the champagne, the turquoise, and even this charcoal down here. This one, you wouldn't think that that's a color that I would use, but it as a transition color, so pretty. So the only one in here that really I can't pull off very much is that color right there, which is a really bright orangey red but still like it, still love the palette as a whole. And then this one is the Saharan 2. Love this palette, oh my gosh. I love this blue in here, I absolutely love it. It's actually more of an icy, minty, bluey green stuff in here. <laughs> I just think these colors are absolutely fantastic and beautiful. And then you have all of your neutrals. So pretty to make anything out of with that palette. And then this one is the Zulu. Again, love the Zulu, but there are a couple colors in here that I really can't use and it's those two. This is the Nubian 3, the coral one. This was in my favorites of the year and it's because they melded this gorgeous amount of cool colors with the warm colors and stunning, you guys, absolutely stunning. Never been disappointed in a look that I got out of there. This one is the Afric. Africa palette by Juvia's Place. Again, this one hasn't been given enough love and I've had this one for a while, but I'm telling you that color right there. I don't know why I'm so drawn. I've shown you like that color out of like five palettes, haven't I? 
<laughs> I love that color, but there are really rich, beautiful colors in here that can go with just about anybody's coloring. And you have so much to choose from. And again, you have those mattes that are just like, wow, blendable, pigmented, gorgeous. This is my very favorite Juvia's Place palette of all time. I'm, I don't know, the Magic palette's one of them, but this one, the Masquerade, has all of the lovely neutrals over here and all of these colors over here. And this is how I started Juvia's Place. And after that I was hooked and this is the mini and I just, everything in here is just absolutely gorgeous as far as I'm concerned. There is not one color in here that I haven't worn and loved and just thought this palette is next level. And I just think that this is one of the places that the whole craze started with Juvia's Place and I love it. The last Juvia's Place that I'm gonna show you is the Nubian 2. And again, this has some of the most interesting, gorgeous colors in here. There is a, not a color in here that I haven't used, even that warm yellow goldy color. Beautiful, you guys, absolutely beautiful. There are quite a few warm metallic colors in here, but I'm telling you, if you wanna pull off anything, as far as the metallic, you can do it with Juvia's Place. And if you're a mature woman that has crepey skin and you're always thinking, I can't do metallics, maybe give them a try because honestly, they're fantastic. These are, this is the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. This was my number one of 2018. And for a reason, although again, here we are with those chunky glitters, but this is a fantastic palette. The mattes in here are so blendable and so creamy and I, I have done countless number of looks in here and I love it. But the um, Alter Ego, they came out with the Daydream palette, which was the dupe for it. And I love this one too. And I think it is just as good. Now I will say that the coloring between the two of them is not exactly the same. Um, the Alter Ego one seemed to be just a little bit more rich. These are a little bit more muted as far as I could tell. That's it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's assess the damage. Let's see how much I got rid of and how much I kept. Okay, you guys. So there are the ones I'm going to be keeping. There is a lot of face palettes in here, but as far as, um, the eyeshadow palettes, there is about 70 and then there is about another 12 face palettes I think there is in here. And then this palette right here is the ones I'm getting rid of. And there are 33 over here. So not as many as I thought I would get rid of, but at the same time, I'm very happy with my collection. And I'm being kind of a little bit more picky this year. As far as, you know, the ones I'm going to pick up, I do want to continue to dupe out for you. I'm gonna just pan you across here a little bit. I do want to continue to dupe out for you some of the higher end ones and continue to bring you really affordable options. And that's what my channel is all about. My focus is going to be a little bit more on doing a lot of tutorials this year. So I'm happy to show you my collection, let you see what's in here. If there's anything in here that you guys think that you would like to see a tutorial on right away, let me know because I am going to be doing that. And that is out of all of those. I'm just going to be continuing to see what is the very best and there might be things through the year that i get rid of if i don't like them that much so i hope so. you enjoyed this video today please give it a thumbs up if you did in if the description box just go down and do look into the box and where it says show more or it has a little arrow just click on that and it'll open up the whole box full of information all about this video and all about uh, different videos that i've done so love you guys so very much hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up thumbs up and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you. Bye.